Dr. Clank explains how caffeine can help prevent hair loss. Meet Tim and his brother Tom. Every now and then, the twins lose the odd hair. This is completely normal, since every single hair passes through different phases. It grows, falls out, and then a new hair takes its place. This is referred to as the growth cycle. As the growth cycles of hairs are individual and staggered, they don't all fall out in one go. However, human hair only has a certain number of growth cycles before hair fails to grow back. So far, so good. But why does Tim now have less hair than Tom? To understand this, we need to travel back a few years. As is clearly evident, they are both in the middle of puberty. During this period, the male testosterone level rises. In the case of hereditary predisposition, the testosterone can have a negative effect on the energy supply to the hair roots, and the hair growth cycles can be shortened. As a result, the hair falls out prematurely, and the hair which grows back becomes increasingly thinner until it stops growing back altogether, as is the case with the twin's father. This is where caffeine, as an agent to counteract testosterone, comes into play as an energy provider to hair roots. Despite the hereditary predisposition from their father, the normal growth cycles can, in this way, be preserved even after puberty in order to retain a full head of hair, as in Tom's case. But drinking coffee doesn't help protect the hair roots. Rather, the caffeine needs to be used, for example, in the form of a shampoo or tonic, which is applied directly to the roots. Since Tom has been treating his hair to a daily caffeine kick since puberty, unlike Tim, he can now, some years later, boast a full head of hair. Conclusion: A daily caffeine kick prevents hereditary hair loss. Dr. Kurt Wolf